Hi everybody, today we're exploring dynamic conditions and logic for form fields with fluid logic. So here is what we have built. We have a form here, we write my name in the first field, a second field appears, here we write glue at gmail.com, a radio selection field show up with three options, as we click them, different widgets with different colors appear. How have we achieved this? Well, we use fluid logic, so let's go in the Elementor editor. First we created a form, inside the form we have three form fields, first one is name, if we go into the advanced tab we that the ID is name too. The second field is email. The third one is a radio select field with the ID option. Here at the side we had a three spacers. We gave them a background according to the options in the radio field. Now to achieve what we just saw, we built five conditions. So let's go to the advanced tab in the page settings and take a look. If my name is my name, we created a JS condition checking if the field with the ID of name contains the value my name. We've toggled on is form field because we are working with form fields. The second condition that we have is also a form field condition and the setup is the same. If the field with the ID of email contains at gmail.com, then the condition is true. And then we have the three conditions for the colors. If the form field option equals to red, then this condition is true. We've done the same for the other two colors. So we go back to the form fields, check the email field, go to the conditions tab, set it to show, and check the condition if name is my name. What this does is that this field will only show if my name is written in the previous field. In the conditions for the options field, we set the action as show using the condition is a Gmail account. Then we move on to the widgets, move on to the advanced tab, toggle on fluid visibility, we select the condition that matches the color, and we set the action to show. Let's go back to the front end that as you can see, if we write something else in the email field, the option field will not show up. This is just to show how Fluid gives you a great way to connect external widgets with a form.